I'm Nicola, and this is my print for our combined science and art printmaking thing. Um, new things that we learned for this, or that I learned for this unit, would be different ways of printing, like mono printing, which I did for the Kiwi, um, intaglio, which is for my Papabo, color graph, which is what we did for our backgrounds, where we put things on a A3 size sheet of paper and then printed it through the printing press, and wood block where we carved out on wood. That's what I did for my beach branch. Um, I also learned how composition can affect like the overall effect or look of your artwork, like the placements of different objects, and how to include scientific information we learned when we were investigating our two birds and one plant, native to New Zealand, and their habitats and how to include it into artwork. I think I've been successful in visually communicating our message, the message I wanted by sewing some information from science through prints by like how all our things are native to New Zealand and they live in the forests near the mountains in the west coast, which is there. And yeah, so that's the way they're all related. And one, some things that have been problematic for me would be smudging the edges and having to create detail through prints when it can be quite easy just to do it blocky. And printing the intaglio, especially having that line, which I don't like. Um, I found managing the printing process slightly tedious because it was a lot of work to do all the details and making things the way I wanted to in my mind onto the artwork and but I enjoyed it because it was fun. Next time I would probably wipe the edges of my entire so this border doesn't show up and put more ink on the corners so then yeah and just keep track of placement so None of the ink comes onto the borders and edges of the artwork. Um, benefits of combining science and art would be to show the details of pictures in science, especially for biology, when you want to know like what a feather could have looked like or what how the veins were in the leaf of a plant or the shape of an animal that you don't know. And so it's harder to describe things like that, so that's why it's good to draw it or show it.